Hey, this is Julie with That Library Girl. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own large bulletin board letters. So let's begin by going to Insert, Text Box. Let's say we want to make a fiction sign for our library. The first thing we want to do is change the font. So we're going to highlight, go up to our font toolbar, and I like a font that is a little bit whimsical, but still easy to read. I use APL Teacher Tired quite a bit. APL stands for A Primary Life, and that's a store, Teacher Paid Teacher Marketplace. I also want to make this a lot bigger, so I'm going to move my name out of the way, highlight again, and I'm going to go up to font size and type in 400. All right, we're not going to be able to work with all of these letters at once. Let's just take one at a time. Now that makes a good size for most bulletin boards, but maybe you've got one of the bulletin boards that is um, in the hallway and it takes a lot of content to fill it. You could actually make this even larger, say change that to 700, and then you would have a really nice size letter to work with. But for now, I'm going to work with the smaller size and show you a few things you can do to change the text. Let's work with two letters at a time here. All right. Of course, you could change the font colors easily by going up here, just like you would change any font. But if you want to start doing some outlines and things like that, you're going to have to use another function of PowerPoint. So we're going to highlight the letters that you want to change, right click, and go to Format Text Effects. Now, up here in the corner, it says Text Options, and you'll notice that it's in bold. Text Options will revert back to normal very quickly, so if it's not working for you, check to see if the bold print has gone away. That's your key there. So we're going to go here and we are opening functions for text fill and text outline. You can also change your color here or you could also, um, let's say that you wanted to use one of the colors in this flower bouquet for your bulletin board. You could use the eyedropper and you could change the color that way. Okay, you can also do that up here. I just forgot to tell you then. But let's say that you want to put a text outline around it. Put a text outline and change the width so that you have a nice, bold set of letters for your bulletin board. I'm going to go back to blue. Our school colors are blue and white. All right. Another thing that I'd like to show you is how to make a layered effect. So we're going to um, get rid of that outline for just a minute. I have to make that bold again. I'm going to say no line, and then I'm going to make a copy of this real quick. And in fact, I think I'll go to a new slide, give myself a little bit more room here. So I'm going to make two copies of this. The second copy I'm going to play with for just a minute. I'm going to highlight it. I'm going back to that text options again. And I'm going to click Solid Fill for a second, but then I'm going to go to No Fill, and it's going to look like it disappears. Still highlighted. We're going to go to Solid Line, and then we're going to choose that outline again. I don't need it to be quite as thick for the layering effect that I want, so I'm going to go down to two points instead. I'm going to take away the highlighting, and I'm going to layer the outline on top of the solid letter and give it kind of a cute 3D effect. How about that? Then when you are printing and you're going to laminate, you're going to use a little bit of space, maybe an eighth to a fourth inch around all of these little edges to really make the letters stand out, especially if you're using a dark background on your bulletin board. But we need more letters than this, don't we? All right, so we're going to duplicate. We're going to split it again. What do we need? We need FI, we need CT, 
And then of course these need to be CT and we're going to move it over and we're going to layer again. And we're going to do the same thing, duplicate. Let's see, what else do we need? We need an I and an O and an N, don't we? I O, I O, we're going to layer again and you kind of get the idea. Be sure when you're putting your layers on, that you kind of um, eyeball it and make sure that everything is the same like we're to the right of the letter here and underneath just eyeball it and see just about how much that is maybe we need to bring that down just a little bit more to make it even and here even too when you're cutting out your letters like i said be sure and leave that space and if you laminate your letters before cutting it's a neat idea to get a cutting board that you use exclusively for office work and you can get an X-Acto knife and that makes it super easy to cut out the insides of O's and A's and other letters like B's and P's that are kind of hard to get to once you've laminated. Okay, that is how you make your own bulletin board letters. I hope that was helpful. If you need some more information or you have another question about making bulletin board letters, leave me a comment and I'll get back to you. Thanks guys. Have a great day.